This is the second half of the picture I've just showed you. It is actually the back end of the Trillium Tunna. And this part is the most interesting because it really shows, or at least I've tried to show, the um, ice melt and what it actually does when it gets warm. The complexity of the shapes when I looked at this iceberg was unbelievably difficult to comprehend. There were so many forms, so many forms of dripping, melting, shaping ice, which was, which was happening before my eyes. How was I supposed to capture this and the length of time it might take before the end of the glacier uh, uh, iceberg disintegrated altogether? As we see up here, this is, was an enormous shape. And look at the shaping, the, the melting of the ice. When, when ice melts, it, it, it forms rounds, and then it forms furrows, and then it drips and more comes down, and there's more shape and more form. And eventually, of course, in the cold, the inevitable ice, icicles. The colour for this particular picture was not too difficult because the colour was already set. Nothing much changes with the colour of icebergs. They do vary in intensity in, the, in their depths but of course they basically are white snow and the shadows that form are one and one of the same tone. One of the hardest parts of this picture was to re recreate the reflections. Because where the shapes were, the reflections in the water had to, had to coordinate. This, I remember, was extremely difficult to do. Very, very difficult. The setting for this particular iceberg. And of course, it really did have to complement the other one that went before it. This end shape was actually reshaped after I'd done the whole picture. I realized it was all too flat. And I ended up with a picture that I created. It was almost finished. And it wasn't angled enough. So what I had to do was take a knife and literally sever it down the middle and bend it and support it. This is another picture of mine, which was really quite a big death depth to have to negotiate. It came out at 11 centimetres to here. This is going something when you're trying to support paper. But with a bit of perseverance, I managed to shape it round. And I think I was quite satisfied with what the back end of the trillion ton tonner was going to look like. Of course, now it's disappeared. It's gone. It'll have broken up and it'll have probably formed with other icebergs, which we probably won't never hear of, large bergs, really big bergs, down in the South Atlantic. Um, but that is not actually the total end of the story, because the real end of the story is the fact that the, these bergs are causing the sea levels to rise and the ice going thinner and thinner. The land mass is becoming less unless. And we're not just concerned by pretty pictures, we're concerned with the whole overall situation of our world, which is slowly disintegrating.